did I get into the kitchen? That's a whole, that's another story too. I was working retail, ran into a friend, and he asked me if I can go work for him. I'm like, well, what do you do? He goes, I work in protective services for high profile clients. Huh. When we would pick up certain people, pick them in limos, a celebrity, we would take them through the back entrance and I would wait in the kitchen. So they would go sit down and I would just watch inside the kitchen. And sometimes the cooks would feed me, the chef would talk to me, I would ask them questions. And I was intrigued. And the more and more this happened, I made, I got closer and closer to making the decision I want to go to culinary school. And so that's what happened. Uh, I went to culinary school um, in San Francisco, California Culinary Academy. And um, that was about, gosh, that was about eight years ago. So went there, worked various jobs, went to Colorado, came back here, worked at different places in Orange County. And I landed um, with a management position with a high-end steakhouse chain called Fleming Steakhouse. It was a challenge for me, but a good challenge, grew a lot. Um, but after a couple of years, uh, I started to notice some health issues that came up. And just after sitting down with my partners and talking to them, we thought that the best avenue, because of my health, and just where, where I was headed, we're gonna part ways. And so I didn't know at that time, because I was ready to kind of leave cooking in general, just because of my health and the stress. And so I was looking at maybe a research job, so I was looking at something else with food, and never thought about teaching. And uh, my wife gave me a call. Um, she had heard about this place. She works at our church in Simi Valley and um, had mentioned this place and they're looking for a chef. And came down and I, and I just had a feeling in my gut that this was, this was it for whatever reason. And I just fell in love with the place. And um, this is what it's been like for almost the last two years now. So tell me what you've been doing here. Um, what I do, oh gosh. Um, well, we pre prepare meals for about seven to 900 meals a day. Um, that's for, for anyone who wants a meal, anybody who's in, in need of a meal. Of course, today we're, we're serving Basu's food. This is already heated. We're going to heat up some more. And Basu gave us so much that um, we, we actually make you know, 20, 30, 40 gallons at a time. So, Chef? Yeah. Are you ready to serve? Yeah, we're ready to serve. It's 11.15. This is right about the time when we start serving uh, families start coming in and um, we start serving plate by plate hot food. Also, there's 85 men who live here in a recovery program, and I, I, out of those 85 men who are here for nine months, I get about 15 to 20 of them, and they work with me in the kitchen as part of their work therapy. We have um, classes on safety, sanitation, how to handle a knife. Um, I've known Chef Thomas for three and a half months. Uh, the first time I came in the kitchen, and he, and he pulled me aside and we had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. He just wanted to get me orientated and, and let me know where he was coming from. And it really made a, a huge impact on me, you know, for, for him and the authority position he, he's in. Um, he really came down to a personal level and that really meant a lot, you know. That made me want to work for him even more because I knew he cared about me. We're teaching them a trade as well as was just you know, regular life skills. When we emulsify something, do you guys understand that? Isn't it mean like blending it all together? I don't. Together? Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking two things that normally don't go together, putting them together, okay? When you when you guys take oil and vinegar and you put it in a bottle and shake it, what happens? Separate. Separate, so oil comes to the top, right? So what we need to figure out is, what can we use? We're gonna use mustard, okay? And so that's kind of what happens. And then we go through and we learn about food, and they get trained as well if they want to move on in this career. Once you get to know him, he's re he's an amazing guy. He really is an amazing guy. And he, he wants to teach. He wants to teach us about life. Anytime you want to go to him with a question, he's very open to it. And he loves to, you know, so he loves to sit down and talk. He loves to talk. <laughs> it's fun to go to work every day with with him and the rest of the crew in there, um, and to learn. Tell me, what gives you the greatest joy in this? experience that you've been here. What is the biggest um, source of joy? Cooking um, and me participating in that to help change someone in that process. I didn't think it could bring somebody healing. It was always about 
hey, let's let's give people food and have them pay for it. That's the culinary world and being artistic, but really using food in a way where it brings someone healing. And whether it be someone who's in need of food or whether it's someone being having a discipline in food and expressing themselves by cooking, that, that has been such a great joy for me. I spent about 12 years of my life teaching. Nothing in my whole professional career that has brought me more satisfaction than those 12 years. And teaching is about sharing. They are learning what would become eventually the key to their uh, the success in life. Yes. You're unlocking that potential in them right, right. through cooking. It's working alongside these guys who, like Andy and Brad, um, I get a chance to work with them and you see the change. Um, <clears throat> not only do I get to impart food knowledge, um, but also just um, seeing men change from within. Um, it's, it's one of the it's one of the, the things in life that I have never experienced through food. I feel still like there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I'm not tired of it. Like just to have that connection with them, to see them learn, to see them grow, and be challenged um, beyond what they think they can do. Um, it's definitely um, satisfying and, and brings contentment to me. So, um, but yeah.